A pint of beer is as British as the Union Jack. And there's a huge affection for the pub glassware that 126 million pints of beer are served in every week. Mostly beer drinking is a little lunchtime tipple or an enjoyable night out, but another and more worrying British tradition is alcohol-related violence. Many of the injuries never feature on police statistics, but they dominate A&E admissions every weekend. And pub glassware is a big part of the problem. A pint glass can quickly turn into a dangerous and even fatal weapon. About a hundred glassing assaults are recorded by police each week in the UK, but for every one reported to police, judging by medical records, there may be seven times that number of glassing injuries. The search has been on to find a smarter solution to the problem. The Design and Technology Alliance Against Crime is an initiative from the Home Office. It's made up of leading experts in business, science, crime prevention, policing, um, and we're running the Design Out Crime programme, which the Design Council is supporting and helping. Alcohol-related crime takes up a lot of police time. Uh, it's very expensive in terms of the pressures on the health service and also the criminal justice system. Typically, a glass will be used as a weapon, and the critical thing is that when the glass breaks, that's when the very serious, you know, often horrific injury occurs. The whole point of the Alliance uh, was to bring to bear some of the UK's strengths in design, in innovation and technology and apply them to the social problems around crime. Can we innovate, come up with new solutions, new products, new services, new systems uh, in a way that we can reduce crime by using design in a creative process? We're not going to be able to eliminate violent behaviour, but what we can do is to, uh, using good design, make the harm that it flows from violence very much less or even to eliminate it. Once the background research was done and the brief was issued, the specialist agency Design Bridge was commissioned to come up with a solution. One brief was talking about Glass Plus, which was um, literally about taking existing glassware yet making it somehow better. The second brief to us was 21st century pint. Which was much more sort of next generation, so uh, per perhaps a little bit more involvement from the R&D point of view and something that we could really challenge glass processing techniques and uh, new materials. I think the, the, the drinking experience is, is something that's ingrained in, in all of us. We didn't want to be taking anything away from what, what, what is the current norm. Uh, indeed, we wanted to actually build on that drinking experience. So safety is there and alongside that is the brand appeal. Um, that which is drawing the consumer and the trade customer towards something that is a, is a better brand proposition. There is also the manufacturability of this vessel, just how practical is this to make in high volume at a very competitive price. And then the other aspect of this is how much better can this be in terms of helping the very busy licensee on a Saturday night serve more pints Quick, uh, more efficiently to the to the consumer. So there was an enormous amount of work already done and presented to us, which was the innovation RCA work, which was really understanding the scale of the problem, what creates the problem, um, and the sort of issues that we can be uh, starting to deal with. So the first stage of the project for us was immersing ourselves in that research work, um, but not overwhelming ourselves with it as well. It was a matter of filtering and getting to the really core points. The next, next real step was to, to start thinking about some, some solutions and some concepts. We were trying to look at uh, technical concepts in terms of trying to find uh, a new process, a new material, a new manufacturing method or a mechanic which would allow us to, to, um, to deliver a glass which was safer. In the concept stage of the brief, we developed a whole range of different ideas, design ideas, that were based on a series of hypotheses that would allow us to see whether or not the safety element was being fulfilled. In order to really challenge those, we needed to do physical testing. We've created a lot of rigs and, and solutions which has made us understand what happens when red mist scenario hits and someone actually breaks a glass. It's, it's quite phenomenal what, what can actually happen. We, quickly understood the explosive force of, say, toughened glass, how it's different to annealed glass, so suddenly realising that actually a toughened glass explodes when it breaks, and uh, learning firsthand with glass going 
left, right and centre. Toughened glass especially is, 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 is very well toughened around the base, but as you move up the glass, it, it tends to be less well toughened and tends to react more like an annealed glass, which forms greater shards than a toughened glass, which is reminiscent of the old windscreens, which fragmented into hundreds and hundreds of little pieces. As well as the, the physical impact testing, we did a whole range of um, wear and tear um, tests. We engaged with uh, ARC, one of the major glassware suppliers. We engaged also with the brands, the brewers, and some key trade bodies to be able to make sure that as we're designing, we're really sense checking with them, um, because nothing worse than a fait accompli, and then the key people coming in and actually saying, actually, you've missed a really crucial point here. That then told us whether or not those individual concepts had merit to go through to the next stage. The first solution looks and feels just like a regular pint glass, which is exactly what it is. Except that there's a thin, tough layer of bio-resin on the inside. The resin makes it stronger, but more importantly, it helps bind what would be dangerous shards together if the glass is broken. So from a consumer point of view, they don't know any different. Um, it still feels like a glass, it still rings and, and chimes like a glass would when you, when you toast your friends. But also from a trade point of view, it, you can imagine that when you stack the glasses together, having a layer of plastic on the inside means that the glass never comes in contact with the, another glass. The second solution is a revolutionary new design made by bonding together two ultra-thin layers of glass, rather like laminated car windscreens. It makes the pint glass extremely difficult to break. But even if it does smash, any dangerous shards will be safely held together by the layer of resin. If we have two glasses that fit inside one another, then we can create an inner glass which has a very smooth profile so that you can pour a pint much faster. But then we can create the outer glass which would then create the visual news. It's all about using our collective imaginations, but not just coming up with ideas, new innovations, but turning that into reality, actually making the new, in this case, pint glass. It's been a fascinating journey for us, being able to work as part of a collaborative project with the Home Office and the Design Council, supporting what is a really important social issue, one that we can address through the, the, the tools of design. I'm particularly delighted that throughout this project, industry has been very involved and they've helped contribute to what's the problem and also come up with ideas for solutions. My hopes for this Design Out Crime project are that we can uh, use a laminated glass technology for tableware and glasses and that will result in substantially fewer glass related injuries in the years ahead. We've come up with uh, a good way forward but it's not the only one true road you know and I would encourage other manufacturers, designers, material scientists to keep looking at this problem and come up with other ways to do it. I, I believe passionately that the way forward is innovation and not legislation. These then are the next generation prototypes Helped by the power of design, the great British pint will be better than ever.